Welcome everybody to the final round of Zoom Around the Room. We have our winners from game one and game two here. Let's uh, remind ourselves who we have playing with us today. From game one, our winner was Mrs. Amsbacker and Oliver. Uh, second place from game one was Mr. Trimpey. And rounding out our top three in game number one was Miss Porter. From game two, our uh, first place finisher was Mr. Grindle. Uh, second place in that game was Mr. Clark. And rounding out game number two was Miss Huffnagel. So here we go. Um, here's how this is going to work. Each round, we are going to eliminate one person. So the last person back each round will be eliminated. There's no keeping score. We're just going to uh, battle it out to, till we get down to the final two. Um, so your goal is just not to be the last person back with your item. And again, we'll give you the opportunity to share about your item and tell us a little story about it. Is everybody ready to go? Yeah. We have Miss Wilson here with us today to help make sure that we uh, correctly identify the last person back each round. So she's gonna help us out with scoring. So let's go ahead and get started. Your first task for the final round here is to bring back your quarantine mask. <laughs> Mr. Trimpey had his on the whole time, I think. I think we might have lost Miss Huffnagel here. I think so. I think so. So, unfortunately for Miss Huffnagel, uh, oh, look, Oliver's even got a really cool mask there. So, uh, Miss Huffnagel is going to be eliminated after round number one. We've got some very uh, cool looking masks here. All right, here we go with round number two. Your second task don't be the last person back with the last book you have read. Oh. All right, so let's go uh, around here uh, and just tell us what you've read. Mr. Trimpey, what are you reading up there? So, this is not a book, but this is the newspaper, The Lancaster Farmer. Mm. <laughs> I hope okay. it still counts. <laughs> I think it should. We'll have to debate about that one. Mrs. Amsbacker? Uh, we have been reading Star Wars uh, kids books pretty heavily in our household, so this was the last one we read. Nice, very nice. Mr. Grindle? This is Tunnels Are Round. Great science book. Excellent. Mr. Okay. Clark? Well, you know, I get to do battlefield tours at yeah. Gettysburg in the summer, so I've been reading Brigades of Gettysburg. Excellent. And Miss Porter? This is um, James Rhodes playlists, and this is all about um, classical music, and it's got links to all the really um, the interesting pieces that he talks about. It's a very good book. Excellent. All right. Now the question is, Miss Wilson, what do you think? Does Lancaster farming count? Well, Mr. Barge, you did say what was the last thing you read. And let's be honest, the odds of Mr. Trimpey owning a real book. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to give him that one. All right. So I believe our last person back then was Mr. Grindle, correct? Yes. Mr. Grindle, thanks for playing. Any last words before um, we move <laughs> on with the game here? Uh, good luck, everybody. <laughs> I <got> All right. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Mr. Grindle. Have a great day. All right. We are down to our final four now. We've got Mr. Trimpey, Ms. Amsbacker, Mr. Clark, and Ms. Porter. Here is your next task. Don't be the last person back with your favorite quarantine snack. Oh. Oh. That was a close one. Uh, Let's go around the circle here and check it out first. Miss Porter was first back. What are you? What have you been snacking on, Miss Porter? Well, this is yogurt, and I put in fresh pineapple, and I make a blueberry compote, and put that all in with it, and it's it's almost as good as ice cream. Mm. Excellent. 
<laughs> Mr. Clark's not agreeing. Mr. Clark, what are you snacking on? Well, a lot of things, and I mean a lot of things, but Cheez-Its are very popular at our house. All right. Mrs. Amsbacker. I got to go with the classic goldfish. I mean, look, this is like the monster size one, too. That's, that's how committed we are. The snack that smiles back. Excellent. Mr. Trimpey. Um, just potato chips, you know, bag a day, so. <laughs> bag a day right. potato chip diet. All right, now, Miss Wilson, this is a tough call here. Oh, I, I swear, I swear Mr. Clark, Mr. Trimpey, and Mrs. Ansbagger all came back at that same time. I think they did as well. Should we let them all go on and eliminate two next rounds? Oh. Or should we make them rock, paper, scissors for it? Um... Let's leave them all in and then we'll, we'll eliminate two. All right. All right. So too close to call there. We're going to let everybody move on. All right. So we're headed to the next round here. This time, do not be the last person back with some type of tool that you've used during quarantine. Oh, I think I'm last. All right, so let's start with Mr. Trimpey. Um, just a screwdriver, all right? Taking things apart, putting them together. So Amsbacker copied me, I see that. So uh, I was that first. Ms. Amsbacker yeah. has a screwdriver as well. Yes, we use this to put our uh, four-wheeler battery in almost every single day, multiple times a day, because we ride it so much outside. Got to get charged, right? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Clark. We have built some garden beds outside of our house. And so, of course, we use a tape measure for that. We also use it to measure the length of the tall tales Mr. Trimpey tells. <laughs> what? Do you have a tape measure long enough, Mr. Clark? <laughs> well, yeah, this one only goes to 25 feet. Oh, I think you'll need a few more. <laughs> and Miss Porter. Um, I've got a screwdriver to my... Um, tub drain was um, backed up so I had to use this to get the thing off so I could pour the Drano down in, but it works. Excellent. All right, Miss Wilson, what did we have there? Um, uh, Mr. Clark and Miss Porter were the last two there, unfortunately. All right, Mr. Clark, Miss Porter, thank you for playing. Any last comments? I would say everybody uh, imagine in your head the theme from Rocky play because maybe that's what the No Sweat Band would have played at the end of the variety show this year. So that's your playoff as you leave today. All right, Miss Porter, Mr. Clark, thank you for playing. Have a great day. So we are down to our final two now. Mr. Trimpey, Ms. Ams Mrs. Amsbacker and Oliver, your final task. Yeah. Are you ready? Wait, yeah. wait, all right, I'm ready. Don't be the last one back with your E-H-M-I-S badge. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Trimpey thought he had it there. Not sure where he uh, had to run off to. Circa like 13 years ago, my original badge. Good job. Held together Thanks. with tape. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Trimpey, any luck there? No, none, none. <laughs> oh, it was in my book bag the whole time. <laughs> no. He even looked there first before he ran away. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> Mr. Trimpy, we're very sorry, but Mrs. Amsbacker was the first one back. I figured. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Amsbacker and Oliver for being our 2020 Zoom Around the Room champions. Celebrate. <laughs> All right. Thanks for playing, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great summer.